everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about sunglasses. If you're like me and you always have at least one pair in your bag, then this video is for you. The reason why I'm doing this is because I got so many requests on Instagram. I mean, I don't want to be that person that's like, oh, I got so many requests. But I actually did because I'm always wearing sunglasses. Although I have to admit this year I have been in between uh, these five pairs that I'm going to talk about in this video. With no further ado, if you are a sunglasses lover, let's get into today's video. I'm going to categorize them by color. So I'm going to start with the black, then I'm going to go with the browns, and then I'm going to go with the colorful ones. Okay, so the first one and the one that I love the most and that I wear the most is this pair of Saint Laurent. Now, I love, 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 love these um, sunglasses and I think these were the absolute best investment that I have made uh, because they are the most versatile. And no matter how easy an outfit is, a pair of sunglasses like this will always give that little extra, that little mystery. Um, that's available with accessories, right? You can almost show your personality through your sunglasses, if you know what I mean. So by far, I think that these are the best. Um, if you are, if you're the type of person that doesn't know what sunglasses, maybe you, you want to invest into something that is really, really good. I strongly, strongly recommend you this. Mind you that my face is very small. I'm a very short person. I'm, I'm only 5'1", so um, if these look kind of big on me, it's because I have a small face. So just for reference, if you guys want to get any of these. The next ones are Burberry, and I have to say I haven't been wearing these a lot only because they are straight right here, and um, I think that already my my eyebrows are pretty straight, so I like something that has a little bit of you know, wave or something that has the cat eye. But these are, again, these are classics. I think um, they're a little bit more masculine than the other ones. I'm not mad with them. I just wear a lot more the Saint Laurent ones. A third pair that I bought from Cost from the men's section. I love this so much because of the len lenses. They're they have this very calming brown. I really like them. I think they're very simple. If you are looking for something that is, you know, not crazy expensive, I strongly recommend you. These, I don't know if they're still available. Um, I think I got them at the beginning of the year. These next ones are from Bottega Veneta. Now, I love so much the brand Bottega. It's amongst my favorite brands um, and it has been like this for a very long time. It's just that years ago I haven't been able to afford a lot of stuff from them um, but I'm crazy about their accessories and crazy about their shoes as well. Not everything because some of it it's a little bit too Gen Z for me. Just like these sunnies. I have to admit I don't wear them as often. Um, I had a moment where I was in my you know, Gen Z kind of era where I would wear stuff that were very like cool. I think that with the right outfit, they're very cool. They give a little bit of that modern touch to your whole look. I'm just gonna wear them at the right place at the right time, you know what I mean? Don't know where I got this pair. I have absolutely no clue where I got this pair from, but I love the drama. I love, love, love the cat eye. I, I will have to go through, um, you know, my orders on and other stories or cost because that's pretty much the places where I would buy sunglasses if it's not designer. I just love these so, so much. I don't wear them as much on social media because whenever I wear them, I get questions and because I don't know where they're from, I just don't want to be, you know, teasing you guys. So. I'll try to find them or try to give you a similar option. Another pair that I think was a great, great investment is this Celine Triumph. These are classics. I love, 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 love 
these sunnies. I don't know what is it about them. I just think that they have the perfect size and also this timeless round kind of shape. I never thought I would look good with this, but I think I do. They're very feminine. Also, something that I love about them is that they're very me. They're very, very feminine. They're very strong build. Like, um, you touch them and you can tell that. Just like with the Bottega, you, you know that these are designer sunglasses. They're so well made. Listen, I'm not the type of person that takes like crazy care about the sunglasses. The only thing that I do is just like wash them. If you don't know this, like the way you clean your sunglasses, just put them under the water with soap with um liquid soap and you just this is how i was told to clean my glasses by my doctor because i wear eyeglasses as well another pair that i haven't been wearing a lot this year but this was my go-to pair of glasses they're from gucci and i just adore them i think these are timeless this frame is like don't bother me like don't don't mess with me um they have a very very beautiful i call this like butterfly shape how, how would you call this they're incredibly comfortable in terms of the lenses because it has like this very calming um this calming color for me it's very important because i am very sensitive to the sun i also to daylight i start crying um and i have my left eye that once starts crying like it will never stop also a necessity to wear uh sunglasses that's why i wear them all year around i don't know if you can still find them but yeah i i love them now moving on with this brown number oof, i love them. i love to wear these whenever i'm wearing like a suit or like in in uh winter or cool season i like to wear them with a coat i just adore adore these sunnies they are where are they oh bottega veneta these are bottega veneta i don't know if they're they're still making this model because a lot of them i have to admit a lot of them are are pretty old um the ones that i did not wear at all i just give it to friends and family um and everything that you see is everything that i kept another reason why i love these uh aviator also the color of the lenses they're like this beautiful dark brown just i i adore it is there anyone else like me where i i when I put a pair of sunglasses, I, I have to have that, huh, you know, moment. Else I'm like, like, no, I'm not gonna take these. I used to wear these, uh, where, what, what brand is this? Prada, Prada. I bought them when I was pregnant with Eden. I remember that I was with my parents in Paris and um, we were just like walking around at Galerie Lafayette, went to do some shopping and I saw these, at the ground floor is where they have the the sunglasses and i just adore them i think they give you a little bit of chloe vibes doesn't it like a little bit with this a little bit like bohemian um vibe like it works with it works with what i'm wearing today i haven't been wearing them a lot this year i need to find a better way of uh, storing my sunglasses because i i keep them all in their original case so i don't really see them but i know that right now on amazon you could find like those big um clear boxes where you could store them and you can see them maybe that's going to make me wear uh wear them more often these are from fendi and i bought them years ago i loved them when i bought them like i would wear them all the time all the time i thought i was the coolest person with them every time i'm trying new sunglasses i love to see what they would look like with my hair um attached and i think these look great regardless like i said i haven't been wearing them as much i don't know why now that i'm doing this sunglasses collection i i get to see them all and um, i think these i'm definitely going to wear a lot more this is bottega veneta and i cannot seem to find this exact model i i find something very very similar online but this exact model i i bought these from um this very cool store uh, called Keith you know the store where if you are one day over 21 you feel old yeah that 
that store. Um, I strongly recommend you if you're in Paris to go visit the store. That's where I bought these. Um, again, the, the lenses are just so calming. I love, love, love. And they, they just, they're like, um, for me, these are like grown up uh, sunglasses. And I wear them again. Like I wear them when I'm uh, trying to be looking serious, but not serious. Uh, I'm not really wearing makeup today and I'm not feeling my best. So I'm telling you, these are it. I wanna move on with this Burberry pair. Again, these I bought from a private sale long time ago, very long time ago. I don't even think that these are available anymore. This frame, for some reason, because so many copies are made nowadays, it doesn't feel special anymore. You know, um, I've seen this at so many stores, more affordable ones. So I think they're pretty, but I don't wear them as much nowadays. Also, what I don't like about them, because I bought these online, so I had no idea. I don't, I don't like the, the lenses. It's just that this, this color, it, oh. another Gucci pair, this I love. And although it has this blue uh, color of the lenses, I have to say, when I put them on, it's like, <sighs> it feels so good. It, it, there's just something about them. I like them a lot. They're a little bit different than the usual, you know, like black. Um, I think it looks really, really cool, regardless of, you know, what my hair is like attached down. I, I love them love 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 them but they're very old so they might not even be available anymore and now la pièce de résistance <laughs> in this video would be my jacques marie mage now i have to say i'm upset these these are my absolute favorite hands down sunglasses that i have ever owned and i'm not saying this because they were ridiculously obscenely expensive um i genuinely genuinely adore them these are so well made um they're made in japan actually and um jacques marie mage is a brand that this is what they do they do sunglasses and this pair is just exquisite exquisite i adore it i i love how lightweight they are by far out of everything that i've mentioned um these are the lightest they feel incredible and i have to say the color of the lenses is just i, I love it and they make every single outfit look 10 times cooler 10 times more modern, I adore, adore them, adore them. I like to wear these whenever I have like a black and white outfit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much a black and white person. I, I realized this when I travel, I only take black and white clothes and then I would spice it up with accessories or with lipstick, like colorful lipsticks or stuff like that because if you have black and white and maybe like grays when you travel, everything goes with everything, you know? I bought them from this from the sunglasses store in Florence. I was there for work and I remember I was just walking around and I was thinking, I'm going to get myself a souvenir. And that whole trip was a big success for me. So I was thinking, okay, I'm going to get myself a pair of sunglasses just to celebrate this amazing trip. And I went into that store and what were the chances? The girl that was working there, she knew me from Instagram. Immediately like started to show me like all her favorite uh, sunnies. She pulled up multiple boxes and I just saw these. I'm like, I wanna try these. And out of everything she showed me, these were the most expensive ones. When she told me the price, I almost had a heart attack. I honestly, if I'm like fully honest with you, I had no idea that there are sunglasses as expensive as these i i thought already like saint laurent and all these are like crazy expensive um so this was definitely a splurge but one that i do not regret a single 
a single second. I'm going to have these for years and maybe my son is going to wear them because they are unisex. Okay, and this was my sunglasses collection. Um, I had such a good time doing this with you. I feel like whenever I step away from makeup and give you a little glimpse of, you know, my life and my uh, preferences, whether it's clothes or accessories or pastries in Paris. I feel like I get closer to you. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments um, if you have any favorites out of everything I talked about. Everything will be linked in the description down below if I find them. If not, I'll try to look for similar models. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!